Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. Uh, Monday, November the 30th, last day of November. We'll be starting December tomorrow. Well, I made a trip up to Agri Supply and I got new hoses. Um, got this one on. Got me the fancy elbow connector to turn the hose so you don't have a kink. I didn't have to build it with uh, pipe pieces like I did before on one because I didn't know about these fancy connectors. They're nice. they got a swivel joint on them so to keep the hose from getting kinked on between here and the tractor. But uh, that was fun getting that one on. I kept wrapping the Teflon tape backwards. You know what happens when you do that. You get a big start over. So what we got going on here is we got one more to put on. That one's still right there. Takes four different size wrenches to work with all the, the different sizes that are on this thing. And I thought I'd let y'all watch me in high speed put this last one together. I've been looking for these. I've been looking for these. And I've been looking for these. They are the extenders that you put on the back two gains of a disc harrow so that you can put a smaller disc on it and make it act like a fur filler. And you don't leave a rut as bad a rut. You don't leave a little one depending on the size of disc you got out there. But I found everything I needed today to be able to add these to my John Deere 28 blade disc hair. And the way it works, this is the new end cap that's going to go on the disc. This piece right here. And best I can tell, it's going to be on the disc facing like that. A little bit of experimentation here to figure it out. That's why I went ahead and took this one completely apart because this is half of that now does that go in there like that or does it fit better like that it fits much better like that that's how it's going to go so the axle is going to come out through here actually it's going to go through here because that's out on the far end right there and this piece will be what's sticking out on the axle when you get the axle put back together. Alright, then you're going to come up to it with this piece and you're going to go like that and you're going to take this bolt and lay it in there like that. Actually, you're going to push it up there out of the way and you're going to get the other half of it and you're going to put it together like that. Now, Yeah, okay. <laughs> Got to turn around in my mind. The axle's headed that way. The end cap bolt, yeah, the axle's headed that way. So this is extending out. Then what you're going to do with it is you're going to take these two bolts here, one through there, one through there, like that. And I'll take the time to Spin it up since it's going to fall apart if I don't. So, lock washer, lock washer, nut. Brand new, it ain't got rust and dirt on it, so it'll spin up pretty quick. Alright, that's finger tight like that. Alright, now, what you do, I'm doing all this in my mind first time is that is the top cap piece so you go get your smaller disc I'm thinking that fits there like that yeah I think and then you take the top plate this piece right here
Connect with that. And then that. And then that. And then this nut right here. Which is going to be kind of fun because the bolt, if it drops down, it's going to want to turn. There we go. Once you get that centered up on there and tight, and I think I guessed it the size disc, that's a 14. I think they were 12s on the ones that uh, Cousin Scott had loaned to me. And the story behind that, uh, I guess something like 18 years ago, Cousin Walt Farming, he had stuff around here. And he saw me out there fighting this uh, John Deere 28 blade disc hair, trying to get to, to, to this land and not leave those horrible ruts. I did not own that Massey Ferguson seed bed finisher at the time. And he said, uh, I got something you need and I'm going to loan it to you. And he had these, this, this thing here. And he showed me how to clamp them on to the, what was out there. And so we did and I ran them until last, I believe it was April. Cousin was, uh, no, it wasn't April, it was probably May. Cousin was working that land to plant that corn in, and he bought him a little three-point hitch style John Deere disc harrow to go behind the 1020. And he was fighting the ruts, and he kept fighting it, and he kept fighting it. And I was sitting there watching it, and I said, uh, I think I got something of yours that you need. And he looked at me and thought about it, and he said, oh yeah. Uh, I said, let's go get them. So, he come over here and pulled them off, put them on that little uh, disc he was working with, and it solved the problems he was having out there. But pulling them off and moving them back and forth is not something you want to do, because once you get them lined up and get them straight and get them locked down, you don't want to take them off. They're, they're not the easiest thing in the world to get straight, and if it ain't straight, the thing will be wobbling and it won't do a good job. But anyhow, I'm excited that I found them and got them today and got them home. Uh, I got an issue with one of those back axles. I'm not sure what's bent yet, but I'll just have to get out there and figure it out and find out what it's going to take to correct it and get it trued back up. I'm hoping it's just that one outside disc blade. It'd be really sweet if that's what it is, but I don't know. Everybody, thanks so much for hanging out with me down here at the shop. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye.